It's just so good just to get away and get out of the bubble of, I suppose, footy and you know, travel with my wife Amy and just experience other cultures and coffee and food with her and just getting to experience the world. Been to America uh, the last couple of years actually. It's always fun going over there. The people are so nice. We were in LA for a few nights and then we went to Nashville which was my first time there and it really surprised me. It was just definitely not what I expected. You know, it's I suppose named as the country music capital of America or almost the world but there were so many different things that we loved about it and a big surprise for me was how how good the coffee culture was. There was this one cafe there called Barista Parlor and you know if I was to open a cafe that's what it would be like. It was really cool, industrial feel, really open spaces, awesome music in the background and stuff like that. And then we went to New York and that was our second time there. It's always fun in New York. Managed to make it along to Joe Watson's cafe. I was really surprised and blown away by how good it was and finished off our trip in Anderson, which is a little country town in South Carolina. I and mean, our friends have recently moved over there for work, so we just thought we'd go down and see them and, and chill, chill out with them for a week, and, and then we were back home. So yeah, it was such a, an amazing experience and trip. I've always wanted to go to Europe and you know we decided to go over there in 2014 and went to London first and then went down to France and then Italy and it was such an incredible trip. One thing I did notice was how different they drink their coffee, like they don't really have too much milk with their coffee or any milk at all, they really drink it like a black or like espresso shot, something that I kind of took back here with me as well because now I do have you know milk with my coffee but sometimes I'll change it up and have a long black or just an espresso shot. At my local here, um, Mr Miller, I've been coming here since I moved to Geelong. Had a really good coffee, some really good baristas uh, here as well. Even since I've moved here, there's a really cool cafe culture, coffee culture building. Probably, oh, I could almost name 10 cafes that have popped up since I've been here. And you know, everyone's, I suppose, got their passions and, and coffee's one of mine. It's almost like a, a hobby as well. And, and when I, I suppose, drink it or smell it and, and feel it, it takes me back to good memories and positive memories. Catching up with friends, being with family, and that's one thing I really love about it because coffee's it's just got that smell about it that you know it's coffee. I love it here in Geelong, it's such an amazing spot. We're really settled, you know, we've got the surf coast really close and, and that's really important for us just to have that connection to the beach, you know, being on the Gold Coast for a few years, that's a lifestyle up there and, and, and that, that can be your lifestyle down here in Geelong and you're so close to Melbourne, just a short drive up the road, you can get your city fixed and then come back here and I suppose me being a country boy at heart, growing up in a town of 26,000, Geelong, it's kind of got that country feel still about it and yeah, we love it here.